Hey, this is Frank Yosa, CEO of Ketonate. So a lot of people ask me about using ketone esters to enter into ketosis. So I want to discuss the pros and cons and risks of that and why I don't necessarily recommend it. So quick recap on what ketosis is. Ketosis is eating a, is part of a, uh, the result of a ketogenic diet, eating 80% fat, 15% protein, 5% carbs. Number uh, top two mistakes in entering a ketogenic diet is not enough salt load. That's number one by far. And then number two, people taking too much protein, not realizing that protein kind of converts into carbs when you have too much of it. So entering ke uh, the ketogenic diet, a lot of people will use exogenous ketones. There's two categories. There's one called the ketone salt. Uh, most of them are racemic. And then something called the ketone ester. There are other videos on my YouTube channel that kind of describe, you know, what the difference there is. Um, so I won't go into that too much. But one is salt-based, so it has massive amounts of salt. And one is uh, an ester with something called d 13 butane dial that kind of makes ester through the liver, makes ketones through the liver as well. So a lot of people use the ketone salts in, to enter into ketosis. And what I've said before is that the main benefit that they might be feeling is actually the salt load. Massive amounts of salts are needed when you enter into a ketogenic diet, when you're entering into ketosis, which means you can test your blood and uh, through food only, not through the endogenous, through food only, if your blood is reaching 0 0.5 to 1.0, that is endogenous ketosis. Your body is making its own ketones, your body is m burning fat to make ketones, which is different than exogenous ketosis, which is uh, a confusing concept where people think that they're burning fat because ketones are in their blood, but it's more because they just drank it. So there's something different there. Um, so a lot of people will use the ketone salts to enter into the ketogenic diet. And, I'm, and what I've said to them is the benefit that I think they're getting is the salt load. You could save a lot of money by just going out and getting a bunch of salt pills and taking that. But if you saw the number of salt pills that you'd have to consume compared to one serving of a ketogenic uh, of a ketone salt, it'd be, you know, 20 salt pills and you would think that was crazy if I told you to take 20 salt pills, but, you know, one serving, great, sounds reasonable. Um, so people use that, but then they say it stops working after a couple of weeks. Well, lo and behold, after a couple of weeks, you don't need the massive salt load to replenish your system. And the reason you need the salt load is when you uh, first enter a ketogenic diet, you lose massive amounts of water. Water just gets uh, flush out of your system. And uh, some people get the keto flu, and that's because electrolytes go out with that water. And you have to replenish electrolytes. And I'm not talking about, oh, just adding some more salt, salt to your, you know, whatever. Um, I'm talking about massive amounts, like drinking salt water shots, or I don't like drinking salt water, or salt pills, and it's not just sodium. You really want a balance of potassium and then nighttime magnesium, calcium, not so much. Um, so, so you know, it works for them, but then it stops working because your body doesn't need the massive salt load, and then people have problems putting on the ring, the bloating from the excess salt. A lot of salt, or salt is fine. There's a great book on the, you know, the salt myth, uh, but that massive amount, two to four grams of salt, and then they advise twice a day, is just massive, crazy. And they hide the salt under uh, other ingredients. They put percentage of RDA. They don't want to actually lay out the grams of salt sometimes. So, you know, watch out for that, for that trick. So, um, so back to the ester. So, eighty. My guess is that eighty percent of the keto flu is the lack of you know, salt. Twenty percent of the keto flu is, you know, your your glucose levels are dropping, but your ketone levels aren't coming up high enough, so then you get some brain fog. And yes, exogenous ketones, salt, and ester might be able to help with that a little bit. However, I don't recommend, I don't have a protocol yet to recommend entering in ketosis for the first time ever, doing the ketogenic diet, and doing the ketone ester at the same time. It's just the hundreds of clients that I've helped, the highest percentage of you know, returns or the only returns, like two or three people that have returned the product have been people that are entering a ketogenic diet trying to use the ester at the same time. Just too many variables. Maybe one day I'll have a nice shiny 27-day program because, you know, I want to be one day faster than the 28-day program around the corner. But right now we don't have one and there's just so many variables, so many things you can get wrong. You might start feeling sick, getting the keto flu, all these different variables and you're going to attribute it to the ester. It's just... It's just too risky. Just go do the diet. You'll be fine. Get some. You don't need fancy MCT oil. Just get liquid coconut oil. 
get your ratios up, follow Keto Connect or a bunch of different, you know, blog posts out there about you know, how to do the ketogenic diet. There's some one-on-one lessons out there. Uh, and, you know, follow those, those guidance first and enter into the ketogenic diet if that's what you, you want to do. Now, if you insist on taking the ester or you want to, um, if, if you've already done the ketogenic diet multiple times before and you've gone in and out and now you want to get back in to it, then that's fine. You, you have the experience, you, you know what it's like, but, I mean, I don't know what percentage of people fail the ketogenic diet their first attempt. Um, 50, 70, 80 percent. I think some clinical studies say so many people dropped out. So I just don't want to be a part of that uh, that confusion. So figure it out first. Get a ketogenic diet. Get a good meter. You got the ketocoachx.com. Order directly from their website. You can use ketone aid, either 10 or ketone aid 15. One of those two, you get a uh, 10, 15 percent discount. Um, also, Keto Mojo is good. Keto Coach has a 60 cent. Uh, strips. Keto Mojo has $1 strips, but they also do glucose if you wanted to do both at the same time. Don't buy the 4S6 one. It's just not any good. Um, Nova and uh, the other one, Abbott, are fine, but they're 2 and $4 strips. So back to if you insist on you know taking the ester because you've done the ketogenic diet multiple times. So first of all, make sure you're getting your salt load, even more so with the ester, because the ester does mimic the ketogenic diet in the sense that it can uh, help you, it can make you lose some water weight and with that water goes electrolytes so it's good to uh, include more electrolytes than, or just the same amount of large load of electrolytes. I don't want to give a number because I think there's better programs out there that you know can give you more exact things and I'd rather your doctor tell you how to do a sodium load because it can be you know a good solid gram or two and I don't want you know, someone taking too much and, and saying, you know, that that came from, from me. So find out how much, you know, salt you need. If you start feeling lightheaded, dizzy, you know, take more salt. I take uh, sodium pills and potassium pills in the morning. Um, there's one brand of potassium that's twice as strong, so you can take less pills. I think it's called, um, it has 200 milligrams. It's called Pure Encapsulation. Um, and then at nighttime, I take magnesium pills. Or you can take something called Calm Magnesium Drink, which uh, helps at nighttime. Magnesium is more of a relaxant, so you don't want to take that as much during the day. So if you're insisting on taking you know, the ester, there's a few th- ways you can do it. You can do it with intermittent fasting. You can do it with one, one meal, which is one meal a day. Or you can do it with a multi-level fast and just kind of do a three-day fast to kind of get it over with. And there's other videos on the YouTube channel you know, that cover how to do that. But if you're just entering ketosis for the first time, uh, you know, for women, I would take five mLs, which is a capful, uh, tw- you know, once or twice a day on an empty stomach, unlike MCT oil, which you have to take with food. You want to do this on an empty stomach and do that first thing in the morning, and then you can do it between lunch and dinner as well. And then, and then you can, uh, and then the men can take 10 mLs unless they know that they tend to be sensitive with things, sensitive with medicine like uh, Advil, and just then they can take they can take less. And the idea is for it to curb your hunger uh, and also fuel the brain, get a, a little bit more ketones into your system so that you know it might limit the downward uh, keto, keto flu. But that protocol is pretty much the same throughout. There's, uh, I don't think you necessarily need to increase it much. Uh, and if you increase it you know, during that adaption phase, if you increase it too much, you actually might have a spike and a crash, which is a... Uh, a confusing concept because one might say, oh, well, on a ketogenic diet, I hit three or four millimolar uh, or I was fasting, but then when, when the ester, I took three or four millimolar, but then I got tired afterward. The difference is one is slowly sustained, so you increased your ketone level slowly over a fast, and another one is a spike. And, you know, too much of an energy load of a fuel that your body doesn't recognize can lead to a subsequent crash, just like glucose. If you took too much glucose, you're going to get a spike and a crash. So that, that's it. That's my advice not to use ketone ester upon entering a ketogenic diet for the first time. Um, I know people want something easy. They want a magic pill and stuff like that. But it's just, you know, too many variables, too many things to go wrong already. So let's just, you know, if you want to go on a ketogenic diet, just focus on the diet itself. And, you know, after a week or two and you're feeling good, then, you know, you might not even need the ester, but you might... It might help uh, augment 
the process of uh, just increasing, you know, the brain. And this one, uh, King King dot King Keto Keto King, I think on Instagram is King Keto. He's been ketogenic, you know, for multiple months, if not years. And he started taking the ester every day. He took uh, larger amounts slowly throughout the day. And he went reflected back a couple months later, and his numbers were through the roof in January. And he tried to look at, like, well, what happened? Oh, what? Wait, I was taking the ester throughout the day. Even though he already makes ketones himself, there's just something different to it. And uh, I asked him why he stopped, and I said my guess was that he just attributed his general wellness, his above average good day that happened to be every day for 30 days to just himself. And he said, that's exactly what it was. I just figured it was me. So I stopped taking it, numbers tanked. And then only now looking back, am I like, wait a second, you know, those are just every single day. So it, it can work even if you have ketones uh, in your system. So subscribe to this, uh, this channel. Um, we're going to have more content on here that you're not going to see anywhere else. I promise you. And also make sure you go to the Facebook group, ketonaid.com slash Facebook, lowercase f, and that'll link to the Facebook group where people discuss different protocols for sport, for uh, you know weight loss, which is you know in beta, and just different ways to take the ester and what's worked for them. All right, thanks. You can email, email me directly, uh, frank at ketonaid.com, and I love comments below, even if it's just, hey, I didn't, this is what I learned, or you know asking questions. It uh, encourages me to keep on doing more videos. Thanks.